it is time for researchers come. In this program, we introduce the researchers from all over the universe. And today's researcher is uh, Dr. Chao Tawachai Charin Panikku, Associate Professor of Faculty of Engineering, Shalongon University. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. So let's start the interview. So yes, first please. off, yes. Uh, could you please uh, tell me the, your current research team? Yes, uh, first of all, on behalf of Center of Excellence in Particle Technology, I would like to express our sincere thanks to you to, uh, for giving us a, an opportunity to introduce our recent work to the public. Now, uh, our, we are in the Center of Excellence in Particle Technology. We, we are focusing on particle technology, and more recently, we extend our work to the nanoparticle technology. Nanoparticle technology. Okay. Uh, talking about the particle technology, including nanoparticle technology, mm -hmm. uh, I have to mention that the particle is another phase of material. Mm -hmm. It differs from gas, liquid, and solid itself. Oh, because yes. when you focus on the particle, the particle has its own size, which is the really important characteristic. Mm -hmm. If the particle size is uh, very uniform we call the monolith curve. Mm -hmm. Such a uh, particle will exhibit special properties. In particularly in particular when the size is down to the nano scale, mm -hmm. the nanoparticles will also exhibit unusual <coughs> properties different mm -hmm. from the bulk material of itself. For example, if you talk about nano four particles when we talk about the gold particles, mm -hmm. the color is golden color. But golden. for the nanoparticles, mm -hmm. for the gold nanoparticles, mm -hmm. the color is red. Red. Oh, this is red. just an example of okay. the unique red very of unique. particles. And you focus on the nano size of the particles. Yes. Okay. And I hear that you do also the other kind of research other than the nanoparticles. Yes. Uh, in our center of excellence, uh, we do research as a team work, mm -hmm. not I myself. Mm -hmm. I have other, many other colleagues working yeah. together. For example, Dr. Nakha Pond von mm -hmm. She got her master's degree from Case Western Research University, and mm -hmm. she got a long bachelor from Kyoto University. Oh, yeah. She's focusing on mesoporous material. Mm -hmm. She tried to develop RF gel from lesocinol and formaldehyde to synthesize the gel, and after carbonization, uh, she gets a uh, uh, biological uh, porosity structure. Oh. So in, in her particles, uh, there are macropore, mesopore, and micropore. Mm -hmm. And another of my colleagues, Dr. Apinan, who just got a PhD from Tokyo University, okay. he's an expert in uh, food technology. Mm -hmm. He's uh, try to uh, explore in the new in the field of encapsulation, encapsulation. To the okay. yes, uh, the uh, biomaterial mm -hmm. uh, extract from the many kind of herbal mm -hmm. materials available in China. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do a lot of research. Thank you very much. So let's move to the next topic. Could you tell me what kind of uh, resource you can provide to other researchers? Well, oh, because we are in uh, university, yeah. so the main mission of uh, our work is to produce a human resource. Okay. At the moment, we have about six PhD students mm -hmm. and about 30, almost 30 master students. So oh. the first thing that we can provide mm -hmm. to the public is the young researchers, young generation of researchers. Okay. So we try to encourage each student to pursue their own research work. Mm -hmm. We can say that each student, each graduate, uh, hello made mm -hmm. graduate. Mm -hmm. They have their own research topic. They have their own idea. They have been trained to make a presentation, to discuss, to make use of the knowledge, mm -hmm. to explain, and to make use of such knowledge okay. for the future. 
this is the first thing that we can provide. Okay. And also, we also have the know-how know -how? from mm -hmm. our experiment, from our research, mm -hmm. for example. Now we can make use of uh, some industrial waste mm -hmm. to synthesize the high-value added carbon nanoparticles with a very specific property. For example, in front of me, I have the carbon nanoparticles which can respond to the method. Oh, magnet? Yes. So okay. inside, this is a nano encapsulation of, of carbon. And mm -hmm. if you, you put the magnet close to the particle, you will see that mm -hmm. the particle will oh, move along. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Will move along. Normally, carbon will oh. not respond to the magnet. This is also the outcome of our work. Okay. Okay, so you can also give some uh, production uh, material itself yes. Yes. about uh, about nanoparticles. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So let's move to the next topic. Uh, in the future, what what is your future plan of your research? So we try to pioneer some new research as well. Oh, pioneer. Among them, for example, oh, this yes. kind of particle. Oh, yes. It's really new. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, when mm -hmm. we try to search the paper, mm -hmm. no one has been reporting that they can make use of the carbon encapsulation with ion, ion. that can respond to the magnet. Oh, okay. So from this idea, we believe that mm -hmm. it can be used in many applications. Oh, yes. For example, mm -hmm. tumor cell uh, tumor. radiation, mm -hmm. I mean cancer. Cancer cell. Uh, cancer. If we can uh, introduce the uh, magnetic response particle mm -hmm. into the magic in, into our the, the patient body, patient so body. Mm -hmm. because it's response to magnet, mm -hmm. so if we move deliver such a particle mm -hmm. into the tumor cell or cancer cell, oh, yes. and then we can apply the magnetic magnet mm -hmm. to uh, to increase the temperature of the tumor cell, mm -hmm. so we can uh, destroy the cancer cell directly from this car particle. Oh, this by is heat. A, yes, by heat. Oh, okay. This is a really uh, new and mm. uh, the front end mm. uh, technology. But okay. for the uh, really uh, nearly mm -hmm. commercially available application, for example, this kind of product can be used to detect some uh, fracture mm -hmm. in some metal because it's uh, in the nano scale, mm -hmm. when we apply this kind of uh, magnetic response mm -hmm. on the particles onto the surface of, 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 of material, mm -hmm. we can find the fracture uh, easily. Mm -hmm. This is also the future application, really oh. close future application of this kind of technology. So this, this particle will be inside of the, some defect or something, yes. and can you can see defect. By detect the defect yes. by uh, measure this kind of particle. Yes. Oh, okay, it's very uh, interesting and challenging the research team. Thank you very much. So next, the, the last topic, the interview. Yes. To, to achieve this, the, your future research, what kind of uh, some resource do you need from other researchers? Well. Uh, at the present, every field becomes uh, interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary. So yes. only our laboratory, we cannot achieve all. Yes. We need a uh, collaboration from mm -hmm. other researchers as well. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, if I want to use this type of particle for the tumor cell mediation, mm -hmm. we do need the medical doctor. We do oh, need yes. the pharmacist. Uh, pharmacist mm -hmm to help us to join, because in our lab we do not have uh, the, 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 the bio or test lab. Or if we want to use it for detecting the fracture or defect in the material, mm -hmm. we do need uh, some expert in material sciences, as a material scientist or electrical engineer to help us to detect the signal mm -hmm. from, from the, 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 the uh, magnetic. Uh, mechanism of the particle. So we do need uh, collaboration mm -hmm. from you, from other field of uh, researchers, and of course uh, to make uh, the, the the scientific outcome 
we do need uh, some uh, necessary uh, analytical instrumentation. Mm -hmm. For example, if we want to measure mm -hmm. the magnetic distance, okay. we do need uh, the squid or magnetometer, yeah. which is not available in our lab. Mm -hmm. Of course, other applications, we also need some other uh, black, uh, other uh, promising or new uh, analytical instruments. Okay, so there are some researchers who study about some medicine and material science and electrical engineering, and also they study about some some uh, analyzing technology.